How are you seeing the F1 story yes. developing from here and what benefit do you see coming from that over the next few seasons? The, the, the number of teams looks like it's going to be increasing. Uh, how, how do you feel about that? What do you see the opportunity in Formula One is? Kind of just, give, just give us a sense of how you think that brand is going to develop for you as we see maybe more teams coming in. Uh, Formula One has truly transformed Aston Martin. It's introduced us to a much younger customer base. We have data showing 50% of the consumers today buying our product were not Aston Martin customers before seeing us in Formula One. So it's transformed us at the highest echelon of technology in automotive, at the highest luxury in automotive, which is very much our client base. Uh, so Formula One has really been transformative for us as a marketing tool. Also, again, we, we are bringing performance to Aston Martin, technology yeah. performance. There's no better performance, no greater performance than, than Formula One. So for us, yeah. it's just but been does, absolutely Lawrence, fantastic. That, and our largest market, affect, uh, our largest market being America, now, yeah. you know, with now three races yeah. being held there. Does that effect now get diluted, though? More teams come in, Andretti comes in. You, you, you've seen the effect I, I don't, I and don't, the dramatic I, effect I, that I, it's I, had on your business. Yeah, but by the way, Andretti has been approved by the FIA, which is one of two of the bodies that have to approve their entry. The second is FOM, who has not approved their entry. So Andretti is far from entering Formula One. But if he does, same kind of question. Are, are, are you worried there's going to be too many cooks in that F1 kitchen? I think that F1's in a great place with 10 teams, and I have a very strong suspicion it will remain 10 teams.